So here we are again, no? With stack number three of part four of my um, wrestling clothes connection. Yeah. Now we see here. What we see here at first is the t-shirt um, that I have from Wrestlemania the Wrestlemania goes Hollywood it's the t-shirt from Sami Zayn and KO when they won the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Championship Huh? Here's WrestleZania. And here we have KO Mania on the other side of this shirt. Huh? Huh? WrestleZania goes Hollywood. And K.O. Mania goes Hollywood. Beautiful shirt. And uh, I, I, I liked it very much. That's why I bought it. Obviously. Huh? And yeah. It's awesome and they... It was great to see them winning the championships. It was really cool to see his best friends uh, winning the tag team championships. It was really cool to see. And this was an awesome match too. This one is a t-shirt of the Hardy Brothers. Uh, here's a sign from Matt and Jeff Hardy. Uh, it's the Broken Matt Hardy version shirt uh, with, the, with the brother Nero, uh, uh, the broken Hardys, uh, with the, the Hardy sign in the universe, uh, and everything like that. The front, and here we're looking at the back, the greatest tag team. In all of space and time. Yeah. Like I've said, it was the broken Hardy's version of the Hardy shirts. And yeah. It's a really cool t shirt. I like the Hardy Boys very much. They are really cool. One of the greatest tag teams in tag team history in the WWE history. And they are, they are tag team champions in many, many uh, companies. They were tag team champions in many companies. And they are an excellent tag team. I'm a very big fan of them. Here we see now as next the t-shirt of Los Misterios. Uh, Rey Mysterio and his son Dominic Mysterio. The LWO it didn't, it didn't exist at the time, 
but it was uh, basically a little bit of a look in the future, if you will, because uh, now the LWO exists again in WWE, and yeah, Rey Mysterio brought the LWO back, but when he was attacked, and they attacked him with his son, and when they uh, won the tag team championships, the LWO didn't exist at that time. We will see if uh, in the future maybe his son will join the LWO. That would be great. I would love to see father and son winning the tag team championship again. This is the front of the t-shirt. Huh? Father and son. Looks beautiful, looks awesome. Looking at the back of this t-shirt, it, uh, it shows here, 619. Here we see the sign where she always has on this back, on, on, on the back, on his masks. Uh, here, or oh, nearly always, not every time, but on most of his masks from Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio is his son Rey and Dominic Mysterio San Diego, California that's their hometown San Diego great t-shirt awesome tag team sadly not uh, this tag team doesn't exist anymore, but we will see if they will be a tag team in the future again. So, through the next t shirt, so to the next t shirt, which is The RK Bro t shirt from Matt Riddle and Randy Orton, the Viper. It looks awesome, it looks very cool. It's a mix between here, yeah, the little Viper and the scooter from Matt Riddle. Huh? Here you see the Viper with the cap on his head and everything RK bro the tag team name on on the back you can see the sign RK bro which is really cool to see i i have also the cap but which i show you in uh, in the last part because all my wrestling caps will be in the last part. Excuse me, in the last stack of wrestling clothes. The last part is the part fourth. Which you will see currently. Which you, which you are watching currently. Excuse me, uh, and yeah, and the last stack of part four, uh, will include the caps that I have. Here we see an APA protection T-shirt. I love the APA. It's an awesome tag team. It's not the original T-shirts that it's, it's not one of the original T-shirts that they wore in the back in the, back in the day. But yeah, I, I didn't found a, a original one, so I bought this one. 
but it's cool to have a APA t-shirt in my collection. I love this tag team. Drinking beer, playing cards, and, and playing card games and smoking cigars. Awesome tag team with Farouk, also known as Ron Simmons. The first black world heavyweight champion in history. He won that world heavyweight championship in WCW. And John Bradshaw Layfield, formerly known as Bradshaw at the at this APA time. The longest reigning WWE champion at his time. Later, another one was the longest, became the longest reigning WWE champion. I think John Cena is the one who is now the longest reigning one, but I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, but APA, awesome tag team, and awesome singles wrestler too. Yeah, here we see now Imperium. The mat is sacred. Giovanni Vinci, Gunther, and Ludwig Kaiser. I loved him. I love Imperium. The mat is sacred. They are awesome. Sadly, they uh, split them a little bit too soon up. I mean, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser didn't even won. A tag team championship in the main roster. That's really sad and I don't like it. Also, they were originally four guys in this faction. The fourth one was Alexander Wolfe. And uh, NXT, all four of them, they dominated. It was awesome. Uh, uh, and now uh, Alexander Wolf is now back in Germany in the VX, v in WXW West Time West Side Extreme Less Wrestling. Um, um, while is uh, while the other members of Imperium are now on the main roster, but like I said. Giovanni Vinci is sadly not part anymore of that faction too. So only Ludwig Kaiser and Gunther are now uh, Imperium. And we haven't heard from Giovanni Vinci since he got beaten up by Ludwig Kaiser. We will see what happens in this storyline. But yeah, this is the t-shirt of Imperium. Awesome look. The Intercontinental Championship on the waist of the Ring General. Yeah, and the mat is sacred. As you can read here. Imperium. We'll look at the back too. But on the back is nothing. So. Awesome, awesome t-shirts. Uh, this is stack number three of my wrestling clothes. And yeah, I love my t-shirts. I love my wrestling clothes. I can't say it enough. I love wrestling. awesome so we look at we are looking at now is a t-shirt from DX D generation X the modern day version of it because at that time 
uh, only Triple H and Shawn Michaels were part of the X. Then later Hornswoggle became the ma mascot of the X. And a long time later, uh, the original members came back to WWE for a while and DX were reunited again. But that was only for one show, I think. Yeah, here you can see the tank, uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Here the signs, uh, the Iron Cross and the Broken Heart. The Iron Cross, of course, from Triple H. And here the Broken Heart from the Heartbreak Kid. Here you see the stripes. Uh, uh, basically the green version of the American flag. And here wor world's biggest member of the generation X. Here so you can see also on the side the X army huh? on the sleeve on the short sleeve of this shirt yeah it's awesome it's I love the X it's nostalgia at its best and then we're back for a short time it was cool to see Yeah, awesome, awesome memories, bringing this team back, that was awesome to see. Now we see here, what we see here is a t-shirt that I have from the New Day, which is a booty t-shirt. Huh? <laughs> and here you can see the three members of New Day Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods and Big E and here you can see the cereal I hope that I will get a chance to eat this cereal one day but uh, sadly I wasn't able to do that because here in Germany, we can't buy those. Huh? They are not available here. I haven't found a shop. An online shop where you can buy it here in Germany. I, yeah. It's sad. It's sad. It's, because I, I want, I really wanted to eat. Uh, those uh, cereal, uh, burritos, cool, I like it. Here you can see the Nexus t-shirt that I have. I love the Nexus. They are really cool. The first version, of course. Then the, the CM Punk version, I don't like. I don't really like the CM Punk version. I liked the original Nex Nexus. Where Raid Barrett was the leader. Here on the side you can see the N. I have I have showed you that I also have the armbands from the Nexus. Here in, on the back you can see the the catchphrase you're either Nexus or you're against us. I love this faction. They are really, they were really cool. I like them. I really like them. But they were dominant, presented as dominant at the beginning, but very fast destroyed later by John Cena. 
which uh, which I found really fucked up because uh, yeah not only that there was the there was the thing that w was uh, that did uh, piss me off too but but uh, that had nothing to do with the split up from the Nexus it was the fact that when it happened that uh, the new Nexus and were uh, built by CM Punk and then Wade Barrett had the new group, the core. Wade Barrett and CM Punk had a match. And John Cena was the special referee. I l would have loved to see these two leaders from these two factions beat each other up and uh, have a good match together. But John Cena interfered as the special referee. I hated it. I wanted to see this good match, this awesome match. I, I love the fact that the leaders of the old Nexus and the new Nexus would go at it in the ring. Man, would, would beat each other up in the ring. But to see who is the, who was the, or who would be the better leader uh, of the Nexus, with, with, or the core that it was that now uh, that's now a, the faction uh, that was at that time the faction of Wade Barrett. So yeah, I love. I would have loved to see this match between Wade Barrett from the core and the new ex uh, the leader of the new Nexus, CM Punk. But John Cena, yeah, wouldn't let it happen. Fuck the whole match up, and yeah. And said at the end, is it was a draw, I think. Yeah. Really fucked up. But let's get to something else. The NWO. A great history, a great faction. I love the NWO. The Outlaws of WCW. Great faction. They made history in, in WCW and WWE. But, yeah. It was, it was a great time back then. It was a great time. Every wrestling fan would probably agree with me. One of the greatest times ever in wrestling history. The on the back is nothing, as you can see, but yeah. NWO for life, baby. Yeah. We know what it, well, we know. We, we all, uh... ah, excuse me. It's a little bit late, yeah. Uh, but it was a great time. It was a great time in wrestling history. So, yeah. To the next one. Bada boom. Here we see an older version of the t-shirt uh, t, t uh, of one of uh, one of the t-shirts of the kabuki warriors kairi sane and asuka i was a big fan of this uh, female tag team yeah. and i wanted to have one t-shirt of uh, from them yeah. Yeah. Of this beautiful tag team beautiful women and awesome in the ring and I, yeah, yeah, I know it's pink, but I like pink. I like pink. And also, it's a good looking t shirt. Huh? Really cool. Kyrie Sane 
And I don't know what's uh, written in Japanese, but, but I think it's Kabuki Warriors in Japanese. I don't know. And here's a sign. Uh, here the mass which uh, uh, current which uh, Asuka always wears mixed with the hat the captain's hat uh, uh, from Tyree Sane she, she plays a kind of a pirate character when she comes to the ring Norm, at least she did it back back in the day now she wears uh, normal clothes, I, I, I would say. No, normal wrestling clothes. I haven't seen her doing her pirate thing in a while. But it's a great t-shirt, as you can see. Uh, and here on the back, that sign. In the front uh, was... The picture from Asuka and Kairi Sane. Yeah. Here's another female tag team. They were dominating at their time. Bailey and Sh Bailey and Sasha Banks. WWE Women's Smackdown WWE Smackdown Women's Champion Bailey WWE Raw Women's Champ Women's Tag Excuse me. Let me there be Raw Women's Champion Sasha Banks and together WWE Women's uh, WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. That's why all the gold. There are leaders uh, there 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 are leaders. Your role models. Great t-shirt. I love them as a tag team. I, uh, I found a little bit sad that when Betty turned on Sasha that she didn't won that uh, rivalry but yeah Sasha Banks beat Bailey back in the day when Bailey turned on Sasha and yeah and uh, here oh excuse me I forgot to show you the back here dos traps Bailey uh, Bailey dos traps and two belts banks because yeah both were holding two belts at the time the, the women's championships of both brands and the tag team championship of course yeah. they were dominating in the women's division so here we have a tank top which is a page tank top. I like page, uh, which is now known as Saraya in AEW. I like her. I was a big fan of her in WWE, and uh, I'm, I still am a fan of her in AEW. Here in the back is nothing. Uh, as you can see, just a big P on the front. Uh, yeah, if you see my pictures on my Instagram, I have currently not the. Uh, I am not in shape. I don't have muscles at all. But I don't care. I will wear it when it's summertime. Because I'm looking, because I'm looking, fucking good at it. 
I think I look good in it. Even though I don't have muscles. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Now here is. Uh, here we see. A Rowdy Ronda Rosie t shirt. Now, Rowdy Ronda Rosie uh, is talking really bad about wrestling, the business. And I, I don't care that she talks bad, uh, talk, talks uh, shit about Vince McMahon because Vince McMahon has done some shitty things. I don't care that she talks trash about. Bruce Pritchard, because apparently he has done some shit too. I don't give a fuck about that, that she talks about that, these people trash. What I what I really uh, find a fucked up of uh, from her is that she talks bad about the business. It's a low effort business or something like that. It's a low, it's a low effort sport or something like that. Uh, something like that. Uh, was it that she said? And I was really pissed off. Here on the back is nothing. Yeah. Only the rowdy runner Rosie on the front. I will not buy some. Uh, I will not buy more merch of her. Because how can you disrespect the business like that? How can you people disrespect people who were going from the MMA business, MMA to uh, wrestling, or going from the Olympics to wrestling, like Kurt Angle, who trained you? Kurt Angle is the Olympic, is an Olympic gold medalist from 1996. You are a Olympic gold medalist as well. When I remembered why, when I remember it right, Rhonda, you should not disrespect the wrestling sport, the, the, the sport of wrest, pro wrestling. It's a, you know damn well it's now. Uh, it, that is, you know damn well that it's not a low effort sport or something like that. I don't know exactly the words, but uh, it's low effort. It's low effort sport or something like that. It was that what she said apparently. Now it could be a lie. I I get it because I read it somewhere. But I can. But I will uh, look it up. I will fact check that. In another in, in, in at another time. Um, but here we we'll see another T-shirt. Which is we are NXT. Uh, the thing is. I think uh, she said that in a interview, so I uh, will look that up and fact check that if she really if she really said that. We have this. We are an NXT shirt. The NXT shirt. I wanted to buy it because it's the logo. It's it's the logo that that um, or oh, it's a model that uh, they had in in NXT and it's still a model from NXT. We are NXT. Mm. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, established in 2012. Uh, NXT, really cool t shirt. I wanted to have it and I bought it. Uh, 
front have you have seen and the back is a sign you know hmm. so next she shirt is a bobby rude t-shirt where he was in nxt at the time the glorious one I really love this t-shirt and I loved, I like this character. He was a little bit comedic but also some also serious because every time when he said glorious it was a little bit uh yeah like a like a comedic thing that he did in the ring and outside of it yeah and yeah but but he obviously he he was a great wrestler he is now i think retired he uh, works backstage in wwe i am glorious on the back in the front side you have seen him in the spotlight the glorious one yeah. Bobby Root. I liked him in TNA very much as the it factor and in, of course in the tag team uh, beer money together with James Storm you have seen that I have the beer money t-shirt earlier in one of the uh, other parts of my wrestling clothes collection but no it's really cool here you can see that i have another imperium t-shirt but at that time they were in nxt you can see four people huh imperium t-shirt and these four people had the names of Wolfe, Walter, Eichinger and Bartel because they have didn't have the same names at, that they had in NXT anymore I don't know what is that about uh, some copyright uh, excuse me uh, uh, some some It's it's about something that uh, the the rights of the name should belong to the so to the um, WWE or something like that, and uh, that's why is that's why Walter Wood be became Gunther and Eichinger uh, excuse me Bartel Marcel Bartel became uh, Ludwig Kaiser and uh, who was uh, the other one. Um, Eichinger was uh, Giovanni Vinci, I think, and yeah, Alexander Wolfe is now back in WXW, as I said before, and yeah, he didn't made it to the main roster sadly which i found really sad this is not fair but yeah uh, this is uh, a cody rhodes t-shirt the american nightmare this is the second this is the first one that i got the american nightmare with this dog and the skull and the king uh, because Cody's kingdom and the and everything like that here, yeah, no, and the kingdom is is uh, entrance theme song. I think that's the name of this instant it, it, entrance theme song. It, theme song. Here you can see his sign, which he has tattooed on his 
neck and yeah you can see here excuse me excuse me it was uh yeah the video was uh, cut off a little bit but here you can see the sign uh, the WWE sign on the short sleeve on the American Nightmare t-shirt. Uh. So yeah, it's a really cool t-shirt. I, I will wear it sometime when the sun shines again. And all also on an event maybe i like i said i can't go to the bash in berlin sadly but yeah maybe it will be some other time again and i will go there we will see i will watch it live on the WWE Network, together with a friend, I think, and we will see. Or I will watch it alone. Here's my second t-shirt, which I got on a WWE Live event, which is really cool. It's an American Nightmare t-shirt, claim your kingdom, but it is with a German flag on the skull. I needed I I needed to have it and I bought it at the live event uh, and it was really cool and I'm happy that I bought it here on the back I think is nothing yep it's nothing on the back but to see that I have now this shirt in a German flag version it's really cool to see <laughs> the german nightmare <laughs> so to say yeah really cool and the, the live event itself it was really cool as well obviously uh, i was a i was with a friend there really cool so here we see the next t-shirt which is from chris jericho chris jericho y2j one of the greatest wrestlers of all time and i i i really liked him he was one of he is he was awesome he is a great entertainer great wrestler he is a all-around package. He is also a great musician with, with his metal band, uh, Fuzzy. Great wrestling. He is a break down the walls, I think. He bre breaks the walls or something like that. They break, break the code. And I was... I break the code. Walls of Jericho. I think, yeah. Walls of Jericho. So, yeah. And here you can see his pose. Uh, Jericho's pose and his jacket and his everything that's really cool. And here you can see on the back light it up. Y to J. <laughs> Great t shirt. I really like J Chris Jericho. Oh, he has something too, which I can't really read. I, here, here's the J Jericho of Jericho. I can't really read the first part, 
but of Jericho I can read, yeah. So yeah, but I maybe maybe it's the same what's what's here written, but I don't know. Really cool T-shirt, yeah. Needed to buy it, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, great T-shirt. Happy to have it, and yeah. On to the next one, which is from the Wiper, Randy Orton. Awesome, awesome t-shirt. You can see the Viper. Huh? And... We'll see what is written here. I can't wait. Wait a minute. I will look. Dues paid. Yeah. Yeah. He paid his dues. Yeah. Dues paid. Yeah. Obviously, he is, was. He is in the business. For over a decade, <laughs> for way over a decade, I think, and uh, dues paid. Here's the Viper head, and here, here's the tongue. Oh, really cool t shirt. It's, uh, yeah, and here you can see the RKO on the back. There's nothing else on the back. But it's a really cool t-shirt. Needed to have it. And I bought it. I think at the live event, I think. Um, but yeah. It's, it was really cool. Uh, I, I bought many t-shirts on the live event. But uh, I think the most I have from in internet shops. Mainly the WWE shop. But... Uh, they were there were more internet shops, uh, internet wrestling shops uh, on the internet, so I could buy from them merchandise too. So here we have another uh, Triple H in another T-shirt, which is that from Triple H. Here you can see the Iron Cross. Uh, Triple H in his pose. Uh, awesome t-shirt. Uh, you can see the H in the Iron Cross. Uh, screw. Screw the rules. Play the game. Yeah. Triple H, everyone. The game. The Cerebral Assassin. An absolutely awesome wrestler. And he is now a great boss, too. We will see what happens in the future. Because uh, some things are still happening. They are not that good. In the WWE, because yeah, at the moment, okay, not in the WWE. That's only to do with Vince McMahon, which isn't, which is not associated with WWE anymore. But yeah, we will see what if some people from the WWE still will. Uh, have to answer some questions. We will see uh, that in the future. Uh, maybe, maybe some of them ha still have to answer some questions. And yeah, but that's another topic for another time. Because yeah. Everybody knows that Vince McMahon is now still in, in legal trouble. 
to say it this way and but i don't want to talk about that right now right now this is the topic so we will talk about it in another video so yeah here we see a suplex city welcomes you t-shirt city damn it uh, here you can see brock lesnar's sign this was a skull uh, this is a skull of a demon or something like that and really cool and, and at first i thought it was a mighty duck sign which he wore on his shirt but yeah i don't know suplex city we will see if brock lesnar will someday come back or if he will have uh if he will not appear again on WWE TV. I was there. <laughs> On the back of this Suplex City t-shirt. I'm happy that I'm, I was not in Suplex City. Otherwise I would be destroyed. And yeah. Because Brock Lesnar is Brock Lesnar. And I am an untrade nobody. Hmm. So obviously he would destroy me. And it is hard to say if I even would have a chance if I were a trained wrestler. Because Brock Lesnar is one of a kind. Here you can see another t-shirt. This is one of Big Show's t-shirts. No? Big Show's merchandise t-shirt. The WMD, the World's Mastable... Um, World's Masterful Destruction or something like that. I uh, forgot the forgot the, what the meaning of the word was. World's Masterful Destruction, I believe, or something like that. I will look that up another time. But here you can see. On the back, Big Show established in established in nineteen ninety five. And yeah, you can see the bear and the world's masterful, masterful. Destruction. I, I don't know if this that's the right word, but um, somebody can correct me in the comments if they know the meaning of the M. I know the word. The first the letter was for the worlds, the worlds, and the last was destruction. The middle uh, letter, the M. I don't know what that stands for. I think Masterful, but I I don't know. Really cool t-shirt, really cool looking bear. Yeah. And yeah. To the next one, everyone. Yeah, it's the biggest stack of them all. That's why it's a longer video again so yeah here you can see a let me in t-shirt from the fiend a character that was made uh, found or uh, found uh, by bray wyatt really cool character 
I have the masks. There's a mask, of, as you could see on one of my videos. But I liked him more as the normal Bray Wyatt because I didn't like the science fiction thing that was going uh, on while he had a match sometimes. Here on the back is nothing as you can see, mm. but on the front this is the t-shirt that I wore when I met The Undertaker at The Undertaker Experience event. Uh, I didn't really have a Undertaker t-shirt at the time. <laughs> sure. But, uh, yeah. Let me in. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. He was a great wrestler. And I... And when I, I heard from many, many people that he was a great person too. From his colleague, colleagues to his friends, everyone spoke nice about him. So to the next one. Here we see a t-shirt that I have from Kofi Kingston. Against all arts, Kofi Kingston. The man from Ghana, West Africa. I think, uh, yeah, Ghana, West Africa. Uh, he he is he he was WWE World Champion at that time, and this T-shirt was made, and it was really cool to see. He was the first black WWE Champion, and. Well, it is a really cool accomplishment for him. i happy for him that he could accomplish that in WWE to be the first black WWE champion. Yeah, happy for him. But the first black world heavyweight champion will always be Ron Simmons. Huh? And he achieved that in WCW. So, yeah. But it's cool for him. It's, it's cool for him that he achieved that. What, what, he, what he achieved in WWE to be the first WWE champion that is black. Yeah, a black world heavyweight champion. Yeah, and also he's the first African. WWE Champion too. Yeah. That's another accomplishment. Because he comes from Ghana, West Africa. A A Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this 11 means. But hashtag 11. Yeah. Maybe 11 WWE titles that he won or something like that. WWE titles in the sense that he won tag team championships, United States Championship, and uh, Intercontinental Championship, but I don't know. And maybe the WWE Championship was his 11th uh, title, but I don't know that really. Yeah, in the back is. Only that the New Day sound. Uh, nothing else is on it. You can see here. So yeah. Really cool thing. Really cool t-shirt. 
here to have it bought it on a live event and i saw him there live and i made pictures uh, of him and they are on my master chief mike instagram account here we see now another t-shirt uh, but this one is from aj styles the house that aj styles built uh, the house that aj styles built uh, the stars on the side with an eight stars and here on on another eight stars 16 stars and then the back we will look at the back the p1 the phenomenal one sign uh, really cool t-shirt i think i bought that too on the live event yeah and yeah aj styles one of the greatest wrestlers and he 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 can do anything he is good on the mic he's good in the ring very good in the ring and he was great in tna i saw him in tna first and later uh, i saw him in wwe Oh, really cool thing. And AJ Styles, yeah. Obviously, one cool wrestler. Here you see a Cesaro t-shirt that I have. The peak of tech, peak of technique Cesaro. The peak of technique. Yeah, here, here two. Huh? The same text here, pick of technique, and here you can see uh, the, the globe and Cesaro. So we could look at the back, an uppercut above, and here the cross from Switzerland. Yeah. Swiss Superman. Oh, I it's I had he's now part of AEW. Uh, he is there with his real name Claudio Castagnoli. Really cool. I liked him in WWE and I like him. I still like him in AEW. Here's my WrestleMania t-shirt, which was uh, in a box. Huh? Yeah, I bought a uh, WrestleMania box. It was... Uh, I bought it in one of our stores. And this t-shirt was part of the box and it's really cool. Dallas, Texas, that, that WrestleMania, I think, uh, was Stone Cold too. April 3rd, 2016. It's 2016. On the back is nothing. Really cool t-shirt. Yeah. And yeah, that was that with the t-shirt. But we're nearly at the end of the stack, everybody. It's a really long video. Sorry for that, but if you're interested to see it, you will look at it and I'm happy. And if you don't want to see it, yeah. It is what it is, but I, I'm sure 
if you watch this video, you are inter interested. Obviously. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. It's not one of the original t-shirts. I bought that one on Amazon, I think. Uh, like the APA t-shirt. Uh, I wanted to have a Paul Heyman guy t-shirt because, yeah, Paul Heyman's cool, I think. He plays his role very well as uh, wise man, as advocate, as friend of CM Punk, uh, advocate from Brock Lesnar, as wise man of uh, uh, the bloodline of Roman Reigns and everything. On the back is nothing. It's only the, on the front. Uh, uh, and yeah, wanted to have it, bought it on Amazon. Here are some I was there t-shirts. When I was uh, on the different live events, uh, they had uh, I was there t-shirts and I, con I was able to buy them. I wanted, I did not buy every tour t-shirt that, uh, from every tour that I wore, uh, that I was at, but yeah, this is one of them. Here, live tour from 2022. Beautiful t shirt. Nice art. Really cool. Here, you can see Will Randy Orton. You can see Charlotte Flair, Ronda Rousey, Seamus. You can see Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre. The, bo the boss, Sasha Banks, here is Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, the Usos, J Jimmy J. Uso, uh, here and here that's Naomi, I think. Yeah. So, here are the tour, tour dates on the back. I was there live tour. You can see the yeah. Here you can see the tour dates twenty eight for uh twenty two uh twenty twenty two Newcastle England twenty nine for uh twenty twenty two. London, England, 30 for 2022, Paris, France, and 1, 5, 2022, Leipzig, Germany. So, yeah. Uh, the video will cut off again, I see. Because it's very long. You can see the life to a t shirt. Another life to that I was on. Nice artwork. Beautiful. And I have to stop that video right here. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, as you can see, we are see looking at the t-shirt again. Well, still looking at the t-shirt. Great artwork, as you can see, many superstars that you know. It was a great live tour. I have made many pictures of many live tours. 
on that I was uh, tra traveling to the I, I was traveling to the cities to yeah visiting the live events yeah as it obviously I was going to the live events and <laughs> it was really cool here you can see the tour dates uh, of the Smackdown tour and the Raw tour I was there t-shirt Düsseldorf, Germany 16-11 ah, it was in November 16 Excuse me for the for, for the saying not the dates right for the last t-shirt I only told I, I only told the numbers that does uh, that were written on the t-shirt so yeah but but you could see the dates so you no what was written there if you have saw the t-shirts that you are yeah excuse me um it's very late as I, as i said before but we are coming close to the last t-shirt and this is really cool looking one from my two t-shirts uh, really cool so, yeah. So the next two t-shirt. Um, I didn't, I don't really know if it's which year this tour was, maybe the, the year was not on it, I think, but, I'm, but yeah, here you can see not the year either, I think. But here you can see the superstars, really cool t-shirt, another tour t-shirt. Uh, beautiful artwork again, you can see many many different superstars, Roman Reigns in the middle, uh, Rey Mysterio on the other side here. Here the new day, and yeah, really cool T-shirt. I'm getting tired. I'm sorry. I I apologize a lot often. This on this T-shirt uh, on this videos. Uh, but uh, I I'm very tired right now. I will take a look at the format. Uh, for, uh, at the last t-shirt I will look at that because I want to know if the if the year is to see on it but here you can see the year is not on it huh? and yeah the front is one well, not the year either huh? just the artwork but here you can see this is the two t shirt from 2019. Uh, you can see the tour dates in Germany. Uh, Smackdown Live. And I believe I was at that time in Hamburg. I don't know. Could be Berlin too. But it was really cool. All the two dates. I was there, obviously. Oh, 
uh, on the top. Yes, Stockholm, Oslo, Norway, yes, Stockholm, Sweden, Helsinki, Finland, London, England, Magdeburg, Germany, Hamburg, Germany, Berlin, Germany, and yeah, beautiful, beautiful tour t shirt. That is so. We are coming near to the last one. Another beautiful, beautiful artwork. Ron Smackdown superstars on it. Blue and red. But we are not we are not talking about politics here. Ron Smackdown. The blue brand the blue brand and the red brand. Live tour. Here you can see all the superstars. What a beautiful picture. Here in the middle, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, all three here. <laughs> the shield is always together, I guess. <laughs> always cool. You can see. The SmackDown two dates, the SmackDown Live two dates. Here you can see the Raw two dates. Great T-shirt. Awesome. Yeah. Really cool. You can see artwork artwork again, and we're looking at the last T-shirt now. And it was my first live tour T-shirt I think that I bought. You can see the old WWE sign, John Cena. Yeah. Miss and everything, and my old tour t shirt here. Tour t shirt here. Eve Torres, Sin Cara, Big Show, Triple H, Seamus. I think that is Kofi Kingston, Rey Mysterio, R Truth, Randy Orton. Yeah. That could be. I don't know who that is. I think it's Christian. Eh, no. Hey, that is Christian. That could be Edge. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really. I don't know who that is. Here's CM Punk. Here, Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Big Show. Uh, Triple H. In, in, on the back, all as always on the t on the t shirts, the tour dates. But here on on here is uh, you can see the tour dates from Raw and SmackDown. Yeah. Leon Fran France and everything like that, and yeah, nice t shirt. But the year is not to see it here. Too. But here I was there, here the old WWE sign. So that was it with the t-shirts from this stack. Stack number three, I think. Yeah. Number three. And very long video, but it was a big stack. So we will see us in the next video. Which will be the f fifth, uh, fourth stack, but that this time it will be my hoodies, and maybe I will include. Oh no no! It's just the hoodies. It's just the hoodies. 
Okay, see you then in the next part.